Daily Devotional, January 22, 2022. Five Truths That Will Change Your Life, Part 5. Part 4 was a reminder that staying in proximity to greatness will aid in giving birth to the greatness that is in you. Within that context, make a short list of great men or women in your field to associate with to help manifest the greatness in you. Truth number five, you do not have to wait for things to change, to see change. You can use your faith to change your season. Genesis 26 verse 12 says, Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. It is your faith that determines your season. That is possible because God's economic system is not dictated by the world system. Even though the global economic system is currently in a state of recession, your economic state does not have to reflect that reality. Instead, choose to walk with faith. It is the currency that drives God's economy. Isaac worked with his faith, and in the midst of a recession, his season changed. Genesis Genesis 26 verse 1 tells us that there was a famine in the land, and at the time he was living in the land of Canaan, and it was his intent to go down into Egypt as his father Abraham had done during the time of famine that he faced. God spoke to him and told him that he should not go down into go down to Egypt, but instead he should stay in the land of promise. Isaac chose to work with his faith by doing what the word of God said. Working with his faith did not stop there. In Genesis 26 verse 12, it says, He sowed into the land that year and reaped a hundredfold harvest. The scripture highlighted that he sowed into the land that year to emphasize that the economic system was still in a state of famine to establish the enormity of what was accomplished. Ordinarily, returns from business activity during times of economic recession are small and in other cases, significant losses ensue. But Isaac saw a hundredfold return. How could that be? He worked with his faith and sowed into what God had promised, and God did what he promised. Even though the world economic system is in a state of recession, you can change your season by working with your faith. That can be done in two ways. The first is to put your confidence in the word of God by choosing to do exactly what God promised. The second instruction of your faith should be to sow into whatever God has promised concerning your life. Sow into your promise by investing your time, money, and people resources to birth what God has spoken concerning your life. Life application. Work with your faith by choosing to do what the word of God says. In addition, Invest time and resources into walking out what God has promised concerning your life. Let us pray. Lord, I choose to walk in faith and not by sight. I choose to believe your word instead of what the news says, instead of what the doctor says, and instead of what my fear says. In Jesus' name, amen.